welcome back. Welcome back. I, I want you to feel free to forward to me any revelations you might have found or epiphanies that you might have had or questions that came up that nobody had answers to. Uh, feel free to forward them to me, either text or email or call me or let's plan a get-together, a safe, social distance get-together. I, I love to hear from you. Well, I want to end today's message with this. We're, we're talking about the uncomfortable comforter, the uncomfortableness of the Holy Spirit in our time of worship, in our lives, as part of the Trinity. But I want to end with this. We, we mentioned the Holy Spirit throughout worship in many different ways, in many different forms. When officiating a wedding, the couple will exchange rings and vows in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I bless the elements of communion in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the Apostles' Creed, we express our belief in the Holy Spirit and we recognize that Jesus Christ was conceived by the Holy Spirit. Peter, John, and Paul wrote about the Holy Spirit. Throw in Ringo, and we've got the first iteration of the Beatles. Just kidding. The writer of Genesis finds such value in the Holy Spirit, uh, uh, such deep meaning that the second verse of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, verse 2, 2, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. The Spirit is present. And, and while it might be uncomfortable for many of us, we must intentionally and actively make the Spirit part of our worship. Not a passive part, but an active part. Now, the strength of the body and the effectiveness of our mission and ministries on our welcoming of the Spirit's power. Together, my friends, together, we're going to learn more about how to do this. How do we welcome the Holy Spirit? How do we uh, invite the Spirit to be more present or us to be more present to the Spirit? We're going to do this together. All right, God bless. Next is our uh, Holy Communion.